Why did the turtle cross the road? It's the essential question of our lives, right? Well, today I was driving and I came across my little friend Frank here. He was trying to cross a pretty busy road. And so I did what any normal person would do. I, I stopped my vehicle, I turned my flashers on, blocked the entire road. I got out and I rescued Frank. But Frank was on a mission. Frank was ready to get from one side of the road to the other side of the road. You know, when I saw Frank in the middle of the road, just working his way along, do you know what I thought of? I thought of faith. You might not recognize it, but your faith is a whole lot like these turtles. It takes a tremendous amount of faith to be able to cross that busy road, to go from the peace and the serenity of nature into man-made creation, just to get to the other side. And just like your faith, this turtle has to rely on its own confidence and the plan that's laid before it. You know, turtles demonstrate various levels of faith. There are those turtles that are out on those dirt, country roads, roads that are never even traveled. And it takes a little bit of faith to be able to cross that road, but you can almost guarantee that a vehicle or a bicycle or any type of ATV is not gonna roll along at any given moment. So the turtles cross the road with a tremendous amount of faith. And it doesn't require a huge leap for them to make that crossing. But you see, for other turtles, it is a much, much bigger undertaking. Maybe they cross on a city road, or maybe they cross on a side highway somewhere where the occasional vehicle crosses. And that does take some faith. It is a big leap because you just don't know when a vehicle is coming. And then we find our most faithful turtles. Those turtles that are big, and brave enough to actually cross an interstate. And guess what? That's exactly what my little friend Frank here was. A turtle of small size, of tiny stature, but of huge faith. And Frank woke up this morning and he took that leap of faith and he decided that he was gonna cross from one side of the road to the other side of the road and that he was gonna trust that he could make it to the other side. I know what you must be thinking, Michael, what does this have to do with anything at all? They're just turtles crossing the road. But my friends, we are called to take these ginormous leaps of faith in various magnitudes and various degrees of glory to listen to the word of God in our lives. When God calls us to walk across the water, when God calls us out of our comfort to take a leap, to lean on faith. You know, we talk all the time about that 2 Corinthians verse, right? We walk by faith, not by sight. And there's nothing that epitomizes that verse more than a turtle crossing the road at the beginning of summer, when all the traffic is going to be there, when all the danger is gonna be thrust right in front of their face, but still to listen to the word of God and go. My friends, I don't know what the call on your life is. I don't know where you're being led in this season, but I do know that there is a call on your life, that you are to be used for a specific purpose, that you are to be thrust out into the wilderness, into the chaos of the world, to be light and love and hope to a world that's in such desperate need of your light. And friends, I know it's difficult sometimes to take that leap, to see that busy road and decide that you're gonna cross it. But my friends, once you get started on that journey, I promise you that God's got you all the way along the journey. It's so interesting that turtles represent this idea of renewal and restoration, this idea of God's protection in so many cultures. And as we take these journeys and follow the leader, follow the turtles that walk before us, we are covered in the love of God. My friends, sometimes even the smallest vessel holds the most faith. I'm so happy that I found Frank today. I'm so happy that God covers us and loves us and that we can walk across that road without fear of what's next with the full hope and love of Jesus Christ. Thanks for tuning in. This is the hope of God set free. 
Desire time.